so once i had my money back uh, i thought uh, uh, let us make it a mission to find out what is their uh, modus operandi how, how do they operate how are they uh, successful at scamming so many people and it takes amazon such a long time to you know find them out and you know shut down their account they are actually still active on amazon <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to get some paper towels and I was browsing on Amazon's website and I found this listing for a Members Mark uh, Premium 2 ply paper towels uh, that usually sells on Sam's Club for $23.78. They, they were selling for like $16.99 on Amazon. And I was wondering how could they sell, you know, Sam's Club is selling them for uh, 2378 how could somebody were they actually buying it from Sam's Club and shipping it to the buyers and if that is the case they were were they incurring a loss on this transaction like selling it for only 16.99 so and then I noticed it was a third party seller so uh, but their feedback was like a hundred percent so I thought uh, let's give them a shot and uh, order those uh, paper towels from that that third party seller so all right I placed the order and the next day I received a notification that your order has been delivered and I checked my front door there was no delivery the item was not delivered so the FedEx tracking number that they supplied I, I researched on the tracking number I called FedEx and they said that your uh, item was delivered and, and it was in fact signed by some person and I was like confused and the name of the person I, I don't know the person and uh, then I uh, uh, asked them the, what was the delivery address and then they told me that the address was some some not even my state a different address so then I realized this was a scam going on this person and also the weight of the package like paper towels were like six or seven pounds it should have been the weight of six or seven pounds but that package was a few ounces less than a pound so something was fishy and I realized that and then I went on back onto Amazon and I saw their feedback again and it was 100% feedback and then it, it had now changed to like 50% 30% and everybody was having the same complaint that uh, my order is delivered but it's not here so then I realized this is a big scam and this person is the seller is like uh, you know taking everybody's money not shipping the items providing them a fake tracking number I don't know how he gets the tracking number and it says delivered so uh, I said I, I thought I'd do a research first step was to get my money back so I emailed them uh, that my order hasn't been delivered and it says it's been delivered but uh, they never responded back then I tried to contact Amazon and Amazon said that you've already uh, emailed him so give them 48 hours uh, to respond back to you but as of now you cannot get a refund because your order is delivered and you signed for it so um, as a first step I posted a negative feedback for them I uh, posted in the feedback that this person uh, has provided a fake tracking number and the item hasn't been delivered and uh, buyers should be beware of this so then as soon as I posted the feedback I got an email from them and they said uh, we are extremely sorry uh, there was some critical situation due to which uh, this was the problem so but if you could remove the feedback uh, we will have your item shipped so please uh, let us know once you remove the feedback we will ship the item to you I emailed them back saying that uh, I, I have noticed other feedback other people have also had uh, similar feedbacks and so I, I don't trust you and so I just want my money back once I have my money back then I will think of uh, removing that feedback so and they instantly replied back that uh, uh, we have processed your refund now you may uh, remove the feedback please But again, uh, they were being dishonest. They never processed the refund. They just said that we have processed your refund and you may remove the feedback. Just to uh, just for me to remove the feedback, they lied that they had processed the refund. So um, uh, after 48 hours, uh, I was able to file an uh, A2Z guarantee claim and I, ha I had my money back from Amazon. So once I had my money back, uh, I thought, uh, uh, let us make it a mission to find out what is their uh, modus operandi. How, how do they operate how are they uh, successful at scamming so many people and it takes Amazon such a long time to you know find them out and you know shut down their account they are actually still active on Amazon and uh, uh, they are still uh, still selling and their feedback has now decreased to 27 percent 
and all of them all the buyers have the same complaint that we haven't received the items so this is how uh, their scam works they create an account on amazon for selling and uh, what they do is they list uh, a few items that are uh, very low cost items like one dollar items uh, for example a pencil or an eraser they create a buyer account also or multiple buyer accounts and then they buy those items from their own account so they post feedbacks for themselves from their buyer accounts to their seller accounts so that they can get a hundred percent feedback once they uh, post like 10 or 12 feedbacks then they start listing high value items and uh, the party begins so um, you know buyers are not aware of this and they see uh, you know great deals like sam's club members mark is a sam's club uh, a branded item so nobody else can sell it's a sam's club uh, store brand so uh, an item that sells for 23 dollars on sam's club they are selling it for like 17 dollars so people think it's a good deal these guys have 100 percent feedback so let's buy it from them and uh, they have no intention of shipping uh, the fake tracking number they provide is uh, they ship either empty uh, envelopes or uh, envelopes with those erasers or pencils that they are listing and they ship it to I think their own address so but what it does is it gives them a tracking number so and then they can use that tracking number to uh, give to the buyer so buyer will say oh your item is shipped so buyer will be happy that I ordered this from Amazon from uh, Amazon yeah a Sam's Club brand from a third party seller and they have 100 feedback and they have shipped my item and then uh, they get two three days uh, to uh, you know uh, do scam on more people so one within these two three days the, uh, days they have uh, you know amassed a lot of orders and uh, you know because they, they sell these popular items these consumables like paper towels and so they're able to scam hundreds or even thousands of people and collect money from them uh, and they don't ship those items so uh, and then after three four days when people realize that uh, uh, their item has not arrived and it says delivered then they start posting feedbacks and uh, then the thing uh, reaches Amazon and uh, Amazon may shut them down after that but it gives them like almost a week to do their scam and uh, you know collect their money and run away so while I was uh, you know browsing through their recent uh, negative feedbacks I, I saw a couple of positive feedbacks also in there and one of them said a very nice pencils another one says very nice eraser so i realized that uh, those feedbacks were the ones that they had posted for themselves you know buying those pencils and erasers from their own uh, accounts different buyer accounts that they created uh, that they just did that so that they, you know they could buffer in those uh, uh, negative uh, feedbacks with a couple of positive ones so their uh, you know the ratings don't plummet uh, drastically so much and amazon doesn't shut them down you know they, they, they are buying more time basically you know and getting in those positive feedbacks but still you know there are so many negative feedbacks that their rating you know is plummeting down and as of now uh, you know their rating they, they've got 73 percent negative feedback within the last 30 days and actually their lifetime is 30 days because it's a new account so when Amazon uh, shuts them down what they do is they just create a new account and you know start all over again so I don't know uh, Amazon really needs to do something to you know weed out and you know make sure that uh, they're not able to you know come back again because what's the point you know you scam a thousand people um, uh, Amazon finds you out they shut you down and then a couple of days later you you know make a new account and start doing the same thing again so what's the point of it there has to be a way that uh, this if, if Amazon people are listening you know you have to devise uh, some plans to protect your uh, buyers because it's a, such a you know trusted site and you know things like that is a really poor experience for buyers so but I was able to protect myself I was able to leave feedback to warn others and if you're watching this uh, maybe you'll be also now aware of this scam so uh, I now personally prefer to buy only those items that are sold by Amazon directly not from third-party sellers if I do choose third-party sellers I, I look at their feedback in this case also I looked at his feedback it was a hundred percent but I did not realize that you know that hundred percent all the feedbacks he had left for himself you know he had bought from his buyer account and posted those feedbacks so that was my mistake 
but uh, yeah in future uh, i'll be more wary and i advise all of you guys also watching uh, to you know do your research before placing that order because for you it's like a 20 dollar item but you know when thousands of buyers you know shell out the 20 dollars that as scam artist is you know you're running away with lots of money and uh, so yeah we have to protect ourselves thank you all for watching if you like the video please uh, share it with your friends and i hope to see you in the next video